Yes, welcome to this tutorial on Godot where we are going to be looking at scene instancing and spawning a player. So just uh, to start off, I've got basically this uh, empty game project. So in order for your project to work, you're just going to have to create, first of all, a game's TSEN file like this. And it's just going to have a node 2D, which I've renamed to game. And then you need a player.tsen, which is just going to have basically a sprite. And I've added a kinematic body 2D and collision shape 2D to my player to just allow that we can have some versatility later on in this tutorial series. So what we want to do in order to uh, start spawning our player and just uh, getting involved in scene instancing and just showing you how this works. Um, I'm just going to first of all show you that at this point the project isn't running uh, with a sprite in our scene at all. And then uh, just to start with the spawning, I'm going to add a new script called uh, player spawner. So make sure to use GDScript because I'm going to be using GDScript for all of these tutorials. I'm going to just call this player spawner and then the code is actually very simple, so we're going to get rid of process, we're going to get rid of this pass because we're going to use the ready function for our code. So it's very simple to actually instance scenes, so I'm going to very quickly just uh, type out the code here and then I'm going to explain how it works. fix it up to be the actual right naming and then we simply just going to add it as a child so what this is going to be doing is it's first of all just going to be loading up our player.tsen uh, into this variable we are then going to create another variable called player and then we're going to instance it off of our scene and then simply we're going to add it as a child to the the game object or the node which is going to have it as a child basically in the scene so what we'll do now is we're going to just save the script off uh, so that we can attach it to our, our root node of our game object so in our scripts uh, slot over here i'm just going to load a player spawner and then we are ready to go. Let me run this and then we can see how it spawns. So that we've spawned a player in our scene. So this is how you can uh, instance uh, scenes so that you can create objects in your games uh, on the fly using code. And um, guys, that's basically it for this tutorial. I'm going to be making a few other ones, uh, which is going to be this uh, projectiles and um, how we can spawn projectiles. And uh, you know, ba basically create bullets and those sort of things as well. So guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Cheers.